uh, it's like week one of college for me and why do I have to make this video so early? But yeah, what is going on everyone? Jason here, Owaddle, and welcome back to another video. This video is mainly an information guide in which I will be teaching you some on and off campus hacks you can use so you can recover faster and be able to focus and stick to your studies. Since I'm still in my dorm bed, why not I'll tell you guys my first tip to you guys. It's pretty obvious, but definitely make sure to get enough sleep. Right now, I actually just woke up from an 18-hour hibernation. It kind of sucks because I actually missed out on some Friday parties, but then the good thing to know is that I do feel a lot better. Whereas if I would have went to that party, I probably would have felt a lot worse today. So worse to the point that I probably wouldn't be able to vlog again for a solid while. So now let's talk about the medicine you should have while you're sick. So when you get a cold, obviously you need to treat yourself well. So the best way to do so is just to take the appropriate medicine. So for me, what I'm currently taking right now while I'm sick is obviously NyQuil and DayQuil. Pretty much the go-to medicine I use when I'm cold is probably something way better for me. I could also take antibiotics, but then again, I don't think I'm that sick to the point I have to take it. And I definitely will encourage you guys to have at least one box or so, something like that in your dorm. Because you never know when you're gonna get sick and would need this thing. Like me, I needed this thing pretty much the first week I arrived here. Also, second tip probably is to have either room temperature water or warm water while you're sick. I'm currently having room temperature water, but I'll show you where I'll get my hot water later on in the video. But yeah, when you're sick, it is especially important to be able to hydrate well. And yeah, clean your system the best you can. It makes the recovery process a lot more smoother. And ultimately, you'll be able to get well faster, I'd say. Another thing the Asian me will recommend is this medicine right here. It's called like Ninjong Pei Pa Kao in English. Even though in Chinese it's pronounced Jing Long Pei Pa Gao. Like it's completely different. But it's basically, it says it's an herbal dietary supplement with honey and loquat. I got this giant bottle at an Asian supermarket for 7 bucks. And I'd say it works pretty well if you're dealing with a sore throat. Basically what you want to do with this is just to have one tablespoon of it. And just, you know, enjoy that. And then have one whenever you feel like it. One downside to this is you need to kind of wash the spoon every time you use it. So I have to go to the bathroom right now just so I can wash just one single spoon. And final thing I'll recommend, it's not really a medicine, but it's, you know, cough drops. I specifically like this one type of cough drops mainly because I feel like it is not only the most effective, it's also the tastiest. Even though I don't read the instruction labels to this, I kind of have like way too much a day, but I research online, you can have as many as you like and it probably won't kill you, so that's all that matters. So yeah, when you feel like you're getting sick or when you are sick, definitely make sure to have tons and tons of, you know, Halls, cough drops, especially the honey lemon flavored one. Yep, that's pretty much it for medicines, let's move on to the next section. So now let's talk about dining at like dining halls while you're sick. Right now I'm currently having, of course, tons of oranges, just orange juice and a bunch of orange slices. It kind of sucks with dining while you're sick because, you know, of course you can't have like 80% of the food here at the dining hall. There's absolutely delicious food like pizza and um, Sandwiches. Chicken sandwich, yeah. They all look so good, but for me, I'm gonna have a ton of oranges. I'm gonna have an omelet because you gotta get protein somehow, and you can have eggs while you're sick. And I, I also have tomato and chicken soup. Oh, <laughs> spill that. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much what I eat while I'm sick. You know, take care of yourself. Don't go for the soda, cake, obviously, like that non healthy food. You want to take care of your body this way so then you can of course recover faster and then you can go enjoy all those food when you're not sick. If I get sick, it's all his fault. And also I suggest eating by yourself and not with a group of people here. Don't, yeah. drink, don't drink elk either, bro. Yeah. Yeah. When you're sick, probably don't drink alcohol, you know. That's probably like the worst thing you can do while you're sick too. So yeah. Very cool. On to the next section. Alright, got some good food here. Very good breakfast. 
I will eventually recover if I just keep eating that way. Right now, we're going to head off campus so we can keep talking about stuff you can do just close by the campus while you're still sick. I did stop by my dorm, if you guys couldn't tell, just so I can get a nice jacket and my backpack so I can do work. Which leads to my next tip, and that is to overdress a little bit. Right now in Los Angeles, it's currently kind of cloudy. I decided to overdress by bringing a jacket just because being cold while you're sick does like reduce your ability in recovering and stuff. So yeah, always when you go outside, just come prepared. And then one more tip that I learned the hard way yesterday is that you probably shouldn't go to the gym when you're sick. I did that yesterday during my first day of class vlog. I realized that I was so much more weaker when I was sick and I wasn't even able to do my regular routine. And it just sucks because I felt like because of yesterday, I've gotten much worse today and I definitely would be a lot better without the gym for just one or two days. So another tip is definitely make sure to just take care of yourself by suspending your workout schedule for like whenever you need just so you can recover and then you can hit the gym strong again and feel a lot better. Avoid the gym while you're sick. Yeah. Now let's walk off campus so we can show you guys some hacks you can take advantage of. Most of these places I think you have something nearby so you can use it at your local like whatever. Thank you. <laughs> ah, so you might be wondering, isn't Starbucks bad for you when you're sick? Well, yes, but actually, no. Except for like one drink or something like that. So what I have right here isn't actually coffee, but instead it is something on the menu called the honey and citrus mint tea. In here actually is some green tea infused with some lemon juice as well as some honey. This item I believe was in the Starbucks secret menu as the medicine ball. And now it is officially on the menu because people who are sick or have a sore throat now get this. So yeah, honey citrus mint tea. Definitely, I recommend getting this when you're sick at a Starbucks. While also at Starbucks, I was able to get a refill this time on hot water. So that is where I get my hot water. Thanks a lot UCLA for not allowing any water heaters inside the dorms. So yeah, Starbucks is now also my supplier for hot water when I'm sick. Somehow, someway, there's still free Wi-Fi because of UCLA right here. So what I'm gonna do right now is just to get some studying done. Well, actually, I do know why, because it turns out I'm actually sitting at the UCLA Extension Building. So this technically counts as one of their campuses, so pretty interesting, yeah. Let's get some work done since I have the Wi-Fi to do so too. Alright, that was some good Starbucks right there. Throw feels a lot better now. Also was able to finish my math homework for the weekend, so that's always amazing. But now after that, let's move on to the next store where you can get some good stuff. And that is not this store, but that store right there. But I don't order a Subway sandwich. And instead, what's actually inside here is a type of Subway soup. It's Subway's chicken noodle soup. I think it's a pretty standard thing that they have in every Subway store. You basically get like one of these tiny bowls of soup as well as some crackers for a low low price of $2.59 or whatever. I think you get larger servings than this if you're not in Los Angeles or New York or like a giant city. It's not the best chicken noodle soup in my opinion. If you can find a soup plantation or whatever, definitely go to one of theirs. But because of how often you will come across the Subway, Definitely going to Subway for chicken noodle soup is also not a bad idea. And plus, I think I've heard that having sailing crackers when you're sick too is also pretty good. Just make sure to have it with like chicken noodle soup or whatever. So that was some great Subway as well. Now let's move on to the third and final store in which you can go and grab yourself something healthy and nutritious to eat while you're sick. And that of course is that is your local convenience store right here. We have a Target nearby, but you know, Walmarts, bonds, whatever works. Basically wherever that sells a bunch of stuff. So let's walk in and we'll check it out. And hopefully they have the things I want. There we go. So of course one good thing you want to have while you're sick is obviously some yogurt. That's why we got some Chobani Greek yogurt. Pineapple flavor is the best in my opinion. They're only a dollar or something each so why not purchase a couple and store it in your fridge if you have it. I don't have a fridge inside my dorm room 
which is why we are going to just only buy two and when we need more we'll come back for it and then the second item we have is right here actually some Gatorade. When you're sick, you kind of need some electrolytes in your system, which is why I like to go with Gatorade. You can also get like coconut water, but I'm not a huge fan of coconut water. But yeah, those are the stuff I'm gonna get at Target. So yeah, there we go. That was a successful Target run. Also needed to restock on a bit of supplies, but yeah, other than that, I'm gonna head back to my dorm to sleep now. It's been a tiring day, but other than that, I was also able to finish my math homework, so that is also amazing too. Let me know what other types of college survival videos you want me to make. Oh, oh, oh what's up? I watch your videos. Hey. You're so great. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, if you guys like to do the outro with me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, other than that, I want to wish you guys all a wild, fantastic day. Bye. 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 See you in another video. Peace.